everybody. Today is the moment that I have been looking forward to for the past six years of our relationship. I don't know why you ever said yes to dating a dweeb like me, but <laughs> I learned that you're just a big goofball. We're a match in heaven. Our adventures have taken us all over the world, and today, before God, family, and friends, we get to take that next step into a new adventure in life. We are truly the dream team. From the first time I met you, I've been in awe of your beauty, grace, and kindness. You never fail to wow a room. I see the jaws drop, most of the time just mine, but... <laughs> Your constant joy, optimism, and generosity have inspired me to be the best man that I can be. We complete each other, strengthen each other's weaknesses, and make the absolute most of each and every day. Our relationship is always growing, always forgiving, and always loving. You are my best friend, and I love you. I can't imagine my life without you. Today, I take you as my wife, and I promise to cherish you through the ups and downs, poor or rich in sickness and in health, I promise to be patient and respect you and support you in every decision that you make. I promise to protect and provide for you and our new family. And I promise to love you for all the years of my life. Jonah, marriage to me means that you get a chance to walk through life with a confidant, adventure buddy, sous chef, and best friend. Someone you share the highs and lows of life with. Ever since I've known you, you've always had my back. I remember the day we left for our first tours and we were about to be separated for four months and someone told us if it's meant to be, it's meant to be and if it's not, it's not and that scared me. But as time went on, I kept getting up at six in the morning to talk to you every day. I knew that this was meant to be. We've been together for six years and man, have we grown so much. Jonah, you were the best man I could have ever hoped for. And boy, did you come unexpectedly. <laughs> you snuck your way right out of the friend zone and into my heart. <laughs> you are so strong, goofy, thoughtful, talented, and such a good man. I cannot wait for all the highs and lows of life because I know I've got my confidant, adventure buddy, sous chef, and best friend with me every step of the way. I can't wait to build a life with you. It's gonna be such a great one. I vow to be your teammate through it all. I vow to be faithful, patient, vulnerable, and to always keep laughter in our lives. I will celebrate the trans while also being there for the failures. I love you so much, Shona. And I always will. Let's do life, babe. <laughs> our Father and our God, we're so thankful for this couple. We stop this moment and we evoke the presence of those that are not here tonight that have proved to be pivotal figures in Jonah's life and Maddie's life as well. I pray, Father, that they would be in each other's corners, holding each other up, handing each other over to God, and praying that, Father, they would cling to one another, they would grow to appreciate the differences that you have planted in both of them, but applaud that area and those areas of their life that you move them more and more and more toward the unity that marriage represents. And perhaps most importantly to all, God, I pray that Jonah and Maddie would both understand that the best thing to have up their sleeve is a funny bone. So let their home resonate with love and peace and grace and joy to be sure, but let the halls ring out with laughter as well. Thank you for this couple and their families and these friends who've gathered. We commit them to your hands, the best place that we can place them. In Jesus' name, amen. This is the part you've practiced. You may kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Jonah and Maddie Buckles. what it meant to be a brother. We would stay up late at night talking about girls and all that drama. And in all those moments, 
I am eternally grateful that this man has taught me everything that I know about music, about our passions, about God. And there's no better, more outstanding man than this guy right here. And now, Maddie, we are so proud and grateful of the example of your love that we get to see, this perfect relationship under God. It's perfect. It's a storybook. And if there's one thing that Jonah taught me, it was to enjoy every moment, even when you're three years old and he's giving you a minor concussion. Thank you for bringing us together. Thank you for having an impact on all of our lives. You are two of the most incredible friends, incredible people, and we are so honored to be here. And I know I speak for not only these guys, but also all of these guys back here too. God could not have created a better couple than Jonah and Maddie. Sharon and I aren't losing a daughter today, but we're gaining an amazing man with Jonah. Maddie, I'm very proud of you. I must admit, I'm the proudest father in the world right now. Maddie is as beautiful on the inside as she is on the outside. And with Jonah by your side, both of you will be ready for all of life's challenges for your future life together as Mrs. Maddie Buckles. <laughs> My prayer for all my kids is that God would put someone in their lives that would complete them, be strong where they are weak, and be able to do the same for their partner. So over the past six years, it's been apparent Maddie is exactly that person for Jonah. When you look at what they have built over the years, it's apparent how good they are for each other. It's, it's uncanny, it's just, yeah, it just fits, it just works. You can't explain it, it's just there. Maddie, you are a true blessing to Jonah. We accept you in our family a long time ago. We're so happy to you. It's official right now. You're my daughter, and I love you. Jonah, I'm, I'm proud of the man you've become. Everyone can just lift a glass to Jonah and Maddie. Tonight is pretty awesome, guys. Cheers.